Thanks to some very kind community members, I have enough Orange Alps switches to populate my AEK64. As with most Alps switches that haven't been stored in a vacuum, they were quite dirty, so for part one of my build, I'm going to clean them up with the help of Sonic the Hedgehog. Ultrasonic cleaners are useful for cleaning a whole bunch of things, and many people swear by them for cleaning keyboard parts, so I wanted to try one out for myself. I bought this one on Amazon, and we'll do a review of it in a separate video. I took the switches apart and found that they had some kind of residue on them. I've no idea if this was just your average grime or what was left of factory applied lube. Whatever it was, I decided it best to start from scratch. Bad choice of words, but you know what I mean. Switches that have been used while dirt has got inside them may not be salvageable, and there was clearly dust in the housings and the inside of the sliders. Once damage is done, it's impossible to unscratch the plastic. However, I had my switches, Sonic was up for it, so I let him have a go. Some people say you shouldn't clean the sliders, as some switches come with lube on them from the factory. For me though, I chose to start with the switches clean, see how they feel, and then add lube if I thought it was needed. I checked Reddit, Geekhack, and Destority to find the best way to clean and lube Alp switches. And surprise surprise, it seems nobody can really agree, but lots of people insist they're right. I tried to follow what I felt was the most commonly suggested advice. I use distilled water in my ultrasonic cleaner, but I'm not really sure it's worth it unless you're rinsing them with distilled water too. In the end, I just ran them under the tap once I'd finished cleaning them. I filled Sonic with distilled water and put the housings in. I also added a bit of washing up liquid. I did about 15 minutes total for each set of parts. The lid does a surprisingly good job of reducing the sound. So after I'd had enough buzzing, I rinsed them and dried them with a hairdryer on the cool setting. I didn't air dry them as I don't have space to do that and that would mean leaving them out to get covered in dust again. I repeated everything for the sliders. I wanted to get a cool time lapse of dirt magically rising to the top, but it was incredibly boring. Several overused memes later. When I looked inside the ultrasonic cleaner after both cleaning sessions, there was some noticeable muck floating around and sitting on the bottom. I was pleasantly disgusted. After drying, I checked to see if I could notice any difference. Sonic had removed what was on the plastic, leaving it noticeably cleaner. That much was obvious, but I needed to reassemble the switches, start using them, and decide on lube. I put one switch together, and when it felt good to my uneducated touch, I put the rest back together. So what's your preferred cleaning method for Alps? And how do you lube them, if at all? I think I've decided on molybdenum sulfate on the top housing where the slider makes contact, but I've seen a lot of people swear by different things. I'm ready to listen to, but potentially ignore any advice on how I should proceed. See you in the next part of the AEK64 build.